Okay, so we're gonna do a lesson in bow ties. So we're gonna use this to sort of tie up these cracks right here. Because if we don't, they'll eventually just keep going and split. So we're gonna put that in, kind of maybe like right there to hold it in place. Okay, so next part, <clears throat> you gotta, I've cut the bow tie down a little bit and uh, not before I slash my finger, but we have to put a small taper on the bow tie. So that's the trade secret, so don't tell anybody. So I've already done that off camera. So this is the top and it's wider up here than it is down there. So it's gonna wedge in. And we're gonna put it right there on these cracks. And that will prevent this from ever opening up. So next part is we have to trace this out. And I'll show you the little trick for doing that coming up next. Okay, so we pick our spot and I think we're gonna go maybe something like, something like that. Where do I wanna do it like this? Hmm, I think like that. And then we take this special glue And just do that. Kind of rub that in there. That looks good right there. So we take the activator, which is this stuff, and we activate that. Now glue that on right there. There. All right, so this is glued on. That only took a few seconds. Now we take a striking knife or a marking knife and we push hard against the side and mark a line. Next step, just give this a little tap. And that jets off. And that leaves us our outline. All right, so next we got to define the lines a little bit more. Then we use a chisel and a mallet. And we just drop this tip into the knife line and has to be very accurate and just give it a hit and that will define that line a little bit more Okay, so now that's defined out a little bit more. Now on to the next step. The next step, we take our piece. Let's just, we gotta make sure we mark this accordingly. So I'm gonna take a little Sharpie, cause we gotta sand it anyways. And this corner is gonna go to that corner. Well, we take our router here and we measure this depth so that might be a little too much for for one pass so we're going to go half that and then we'll go the rest of the way afterwards
Okay, now we just gotta do all the chiseling. Get that out of there, all the edges out. All right, so this should just plop right in there. And it looks like it will. So we're gonna put some glue down in there. It's in there real nice. Then wipe off the excess glue and now we wait for that to dry a little bit and then we'll plane that flat. But it looks pretty good. So we're going to use this uh, low angle jack plane and we're going to smooth this off down to its uh, the level, to a level playing field anyways. Let's get this up. And there you have it.